Hey there, Helen Hartsmith here from the Heart of the Witch's Path YouTube channel, here with a video response for the week 21 question for the 2016 YouTube Pagan Challenge. This week's question is, do you have a grimoire or book of shadows? And the answer, short answer, yes I do. I've been a practicing witch for... Oh, I had this figured out before, and I think I'm close to 20 years. Uh, so in that time frame, I've had actually numerous different uh, Book of Shadows, and so I collected a few of them um, because I can't, when I move on to a different system, I can't bring myself to get rid of the old one. And I think, I think at some point space is going to become it. Well, I space is an issue. So maybe after this video, it would be a good time for me to kind of uh, weed through some things and, and maybe uh, purge some a little bit. Anyhow, that's a whole other video. Anyhow, um, as I said, I've had a couple of different systems. I have these actual books here, as I just showed you. I have also done a, a digital copy. I have a Microsoft Word document at this point that holds pretty much the same information that's in my current Book of Shadows, or as I refer to it, a Book of Light. I think of it as a Book of Light because when I think of knowledge, I think of light um, being that dichotomy with the darkness, which is kind of no information. So that's why I call it a Book of Light. Book of Shadows just seemed a little, while mysterious, it seemed limiting in in when it comes to knowledge. So anyhow, the very, f so I have the electronic version and so I'm able to put that onto my tablet. I can open it at a, at a computer, a laptop or a desktop, what, whatever I need to access it from. So that one, there's that one. And of course that makes it super easy to, um, to move things around as you want to. What I try to do is separate my systems so that I can group information into things that make sense, you know, correspondences, all the information is together, uh, things of that nature. So an electronic version, um, if you're a techie and you like those kinds of things, that's definitely uh, a way to go. Uh, I This is my first Book of Shadows here, and this one I did a lot of printing and photocopying of information, and this is just, let me open it up to... It's just a kind of blank, blank page, spiral bound book. And, um, and it's, it was good to start off with, but, um, I soon found that there were things that I wanted to do, um, with this book and I wasn't able to. And so it was about that time when I was realizing my limitations that I found this next book. And I've actually talked about my, um, Book of Shadows. I don't remember if it's been in a video before. Uh, I know that my current Book of Shadows, I have a couple of blog posts um, because it's a lot more involved than some of the other methods I've done. So I'll I'll say now that I'll link, though I think there's at least two um, because it's kind of a scrapbooking, the current one. You'll see when I get to it. Um, so this is kind of like the precursor to that one. Um, I found this book. Oh, I actually have it upside down. Look at that. Um, I found this at, um, I think I got it at a Borders, which I don't think Borders are in business anymore, but this is technically a travel journal and you see, you'll, you're sensing what, what, this is backwards part of the problem in switching. Um, but this is a travel journal and it had, it came with these, these really great features like little pockets that divided things off in the book. So it starts off with lined paper. Then there was this nice heavy duty folder. It also had these really great, um, plastic, basically like picture holders. And because it's a travel journal, it kind of makes sense to have something like that. Then there was graph paper. There's uh, regular unruled paper in here. And so the the, the pockets, the plastic and the, the hard paper pockets were kind of spread out throughout. And so I was able to use these little tabs 
to um to make little you know, little dividers as to, you know, here's my spells, here's my um, reference material, here are quotes from different authors and presenters that, that meant something to me. Um, so I used this for a really long time. Um, and I guess before I should mention too that there was another version I had that was in a three a three ring binder. I used that for a very short time because that bad boy was too big. I had like, it was like a two or three inch binder. Um, and then of course it fit eight and a half by 11 pages. It was too big. So I wanted something like this, excuse me, that I was more portable. It didn't take as much to, to, to carry around with. Um, and so anyhow, so this particular book, another spiral bound, but the spirals got funky, and so that's why I had to have the back come around to the front. Another nice feature was this elastic band, too. But this back cover would always fall off if I had it back where it was supposed to be because there are splits. Yes, yeah, see, it was starting to come just with me doing it that little bit. Um, it would come out all the time, and so I was like, okay, this is, oh, look, there it went. This is not happening for me. So that's when I opted to go to start looking at different systems for my current Book of Light, and that is this one. Um, I think we've talked about the fact that I really like steampunk before, and so uh, I wanted to do uh, a steampunk theme, and I wanted to put more of myself into it. In the previous uh, Book of Light that I had. I wrote out a lot of things. I also, but I don't have like the best penmanship. And so I was looking for a way that would allow me to put more energy and more of myself into the book, but I was still able to print things and make things legible. And so this kind of really lent itself to, uh, to doing that. And I see I've got some things falling out. Things are booby-trapped. Let's just kind of take that out. So this is a mini three-ring binder. And it's actually just a two-ring. The great thing about this is that uh, these the spread of the ring, because it's not a three-ring, I and the spread of these two, I have a big three-hole punch. And this is the same spread as if I had a full-size three-ring binder. So I didn't have to go out and buy a special punch to do the pages in here. So as you can see, I... Big steampunk theme throughout. I have some plastic pages. Uh, and I wanted to use it on this page especially because it has the witch's sigils. And uh, so I wanted to be able to use a dry erase marker on that to make sigils if I wanted. And so I'm not going to go into the whole thing right here, uh, but I will talk about the fact, like how I have it broken up. This first section is all reference material. So um, anything that I would want to reference quickly, um, I, fo I photocopied a lot of graphics out of books like um like this one and I tried to note to which book it came from so this is from the three rays by Christopher Penzac and other things I would type either in to word or excel because of course I wanted it in that that digital format but I could print it off and so what I did with all of these all of these things I tea stained them I went through and tea stained everything. I ripped the edges roughly so it had that really, it, you know, got that old feeling. I even crumpled them and used um, ink on the edges to make things look old, as you can kind of see there. So, and I, of course, scrapbooked everything. And so I felt that that was a good way of putting my energy into creating this. So first section is reference material. And again, I, I have some of the little little uh, photo holders for things. And I created little pockets and little half sheets. Um, so here's a pocket here with a lot of chakra information. So that's all in the reference section. The um, second section is all about the Sabbaths. And this is still under construction. So I actually have uh, uh, post-it notes to kind of keep things separated because I want to have dividers at some point. But I tried to get as creative about... Um, putting information in here as possible just to make it really pleasing to the eye and keep me 
invested in, in working with this. So uh, all kinds of Sabbath and moon information are in this section. The next section is all rituals and prayers. So things like um, the charge of the goddess is in here. Um, a prayer for psychic power. Uh, let's a consecration of tools from C Scott Cunningham's uh, guide for the solitary practitioner. That's on a this section. I tried to do things where the, it was like on a card, so I could pull it out, so I didn't have to take like the whole page and deal with that. It's on a little card, so I can take it out, consecrate whatever tool I want, and then put it back into its pocket. So I tried to do that with this section, and then I have a section on correspondences again more little pockets just to put things because these are all stones that correspond with goddesses on these cards in here so I can take them out. Uh, so yeah, I won't go into every correspondence I have here, but then the last section is spells and I generally don't share uh, spells that I've done with people outside of my coven. It's just kind of a, a line that I don't cross. But uh, so this is my current book of shadows. And I purchased this from Michaels. It's um, trying to think of the brand name and it's not coming to me off the top of my head. But uh, I put this is scrapbook paper that I put over it. This is a piece of clip art that I, the, with the witch's hat, is a piece of clip art that I printed out and then cut out and then decoupaged onto this piece of paper. Um, so there's a lot of artwork that you can find online, but the back here, I haven't done, oh, look, <laughs> Simple Stories, that's the brand. <laughs> so, but this is how the front looked. Uh, and so I purchased this, in case anybody wants to know, I purchased this from Michaels. It came with the binder. It came with five of the plastic sleeves um, in different configurations of openings. It came with a few dividers, but they're made from... Uh, paperboard, I think it's called. And so they're kind of thick, but they're really prettily cut out. So it's already a thick book and I still have more information that I want to add in here. So I don't know if I'm going to use those dividers or not, but they're really pretty. So I haven't gotten rid of them. And it came with a few pieces of paper, like some graph paper and things of that nature that I may or may not use, but that the uh, it was $15 for the, the kit or the set, however you want to talk about it. So that is my current Book of Light, Book of Shadows, Grimoire system. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And if you learned anything, give us a thumbs up. And until next time, thanks for walking the path for a little while with me. Blessed be.